yeah, I know. But it's funny that I can't take it anymore. Yeah. You just have to say, no, that's not true. Yeah. And then from there, yeah. and then from there, you get dragged into yeah. dragged into more conversation, which your intention was not to get involved with to begin with. Yes. I did it last week. Did it again today, and this time I regret it because yeah. it wasn't my intention. Yeah, yeah. I, I just come to listen, learn a few things. But it doesn't happen. It's difficult because people are saying things that are so hurtful, and then I remind myself in the uh, many times Allah says in the Quran, you know that their words hurt you. Yes. Oh. And this was the prophet of God. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so imagine us normal mortals, Absolutely. big problems. It's no, no, no. To rise to it. Exactly. But you know what? Alhamdulillah, if, if you look at things, I always say one thing. Whatever the person is saying is merely constituted of words only. Because the truth is there and the truth is not going to change. Well, if they are saying whatever they want to say, yes as opposed to the truth what they are saying is absolutely nothing what is the reason to get mad for but it's not easy <laughs> suppose there's a yeah it's a With, ego it's, it's a natural reaction yeah. no no look the, you are respectfully talking to the guy and then he comes out with abusive statements about the Prophet Muhammad peace yeah. upon him. Yeah. You are going to think, hey, what the, um, yeah, you know, yeah, he's nothing. But, Alhamdulillah, I look at the Prophet uh, wasalam, and I think his station is such that no amount of words are going to affect the station of the Prophet. Yeah? The guy, whatever he's saying, temporarily is making me feel offended. Yes? And rightfully, I'm feeling offended. But if he is saying it in absolute abject ignorance, I'll give him that due. Yes? And sometimes you ask them. Like one day I was talking to that Afri Afro Caribbean guy uh, in, uh, about the economics of the UK. Yeah? And he said something offensive about the Prophet, while the subject matter was nothing to do with that. So I told the brother, I said, listen, why do you have to be offensive? He said, what did I say? I said, you said X when we are talking about Y. There isn't a need for this. So sometimes you've got to put it on no, because they seem to be oblivious of the fact that they are doing it. You know, that's, that's interesting because I always think it's a, it's a, uh, a strategy that once you're beaten on one point, just shift to another point and then they drag out different points that have nothing to do with what you're talking yes. about to begin with. Yes. I think it's oblivious. Yeah. They are completely oblivious. Well, I suppose that's a different between you and me because you can see that point. I yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking they're just being deliberately evasive. They are. They are. That's what they are. What happens sometimes, they don't realize it. Thank you. Thank you. There's the other one as well. Yeah? So, whichever way you look at it, thank you. Yeah? Whichever way you look at it, you have to understand. When the Prophet ﷺ was walking around, yeah, he used to, as the story goes, he used to bypass a particular location house. And every time he passed by, rubbish was thrown on him. Yeah? Now, in normal human beings, if somebody throws... <laughs> Just try that again and watch what I do, sort of thing. But he goes, and then he finds one day, why hasn't anything come? Yes? And he inquires to find out that she was not well, and he goes and visits her. Now, how many of us <laughs> would do that to somebody who is offending us? But the, the lesson for us is that, look, what that person was doing was out of sheer ignorance. Yeah? That's what she was doing, because the masses were saying a certain thing about X. Just like today, the moment you use the word Muslim, terrorist. Ask them terrorist, they think Muslim. So what is he that you you, you you say me Muhammad wa he married four wives so like that one. Ask me. Ask me what you ask me. Yeah. So what are you a Muslim? Yes. 
So why do you think Muhammad? Why do you follow Muhammad? Why do I follow Muhammad? Well, basically because as human beings, we arrive at an understanding about life, yeah, and the best guidance that we human beings require was provided by the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. So then, can I say that as a human being, yes. I want to always follow the right thing? Yes. yes? So as a, as a man, now as a Christian man, they are allowed to marry only one wife. Because God said you and what, when you marry, you become one. Okay? But your prophet permits you to marry four wives. Fine. It might be the culture, it might be the what? Then I want you to answer, why is he, when he dictates to all the Muslims, you can only marry four wives, why did he marry nine wives? And out of the nine wives, he married a six years old. Would you marry a six years old? No. No, so it, that, wait, wait, that, why do you say yes. no? Well, because, you, because you think it's wrong? No, because sister, for the, for the first... No, no, no. Can why? I... You, you've, asked, you've asked a question, I will respond. Well, let's take the things one at a time, yeah? Number one, you said, sister, that uh, according to you, you are a Christian? Yes. According to you, the Bible says you marry only one. Yeah? Was that in Genesis? Yeah, but if let, I me, can... let me make something clear for you. I am a Christian, and Christian means I follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't follow the Old, old Testament. Okay. Yeah. No problem. So I follow Jesus Christ, and that's what Jesus said. No problem. And Jesus, like even in in the Old Old Testament, Jesus said that I, Moses allowed you divorce because we you are so sinful. Now that's not a problem. But can I can I ask you if that is how you approach your life? Jesus Christ, what did he follow? Pardon? What did he follow? He is God himself. He is the Son of God. I agree, but I'm not asking you that, sister. I'm asking you. No, why does if he I can, need to follow Sister, anybody? if I can just finish. What law did Jesus Christ follow when he was on earth? Jesus said, I've come to fulfill the law. Okay. He came to fulfill it, but before he fulfilled it, what law was he following? He doesn't need to follow any law because he is God. Okay, he sister. Is the son I, of God. What you believe, I'm not arguing with. What I'm asking you, sister, is a simple question. Jesus Christ, did he used to wash his feet and his legs? Was he circumcised? Probably. Probably. Yes, because he yes or no? Sorry, what was he that? So what law was he following? He followed, yes, he followed the Torah, but he also fulfilled the law. Right, before we go to the fulfillment, was he following the Torah? Why are you leading me? I ask I'm not you leading you, sister. I'm... No, I ask you a question. If a you good man, yeah. Yeah, first of all, he first of all tells you that you can marry four wives, and he himself married how many wives? At least nine. Okay. And one of them is a six years old. Yeah. Now, Another one is his daughter-in-law, his adopted daughter. And because of that, Muslims do not adopt. Right, okay. Now, sister, you see, it's anybody can make statements like you do. No. If I can finish. You, I allowed you to finish, Alana. Yeah? But in order to understand something, it only is logical and sensible to assess what you are saying. So, when you have made certain statements, all I'm trying to do is clarify, if I can clarify, you made the first statement about uh, multiple marriages, okay? You argued that he told us, Muhammad told us, marry only four, but he had more than four, okay? That's your argument. Then you said, why? Because the Bible tells you one man, one woman. So now I want you to try and understand this, yes, sister, and think about it. I then asked you, wait a minute, which law did Jesus follow? Because you, told, you talked about Jesus. He followed the Old Testament, okay? The Torah. Now, question. The one wife, one husband, was it in Genesis? It is in Genesis, isn't it? So how many wives did David have? 
That is the man of a, that is the action of a sinful man. Okay. That's why we need Okay. Jesus. So he was a sinful man. Okay, why did Abraham have more than one wife? Was he a sinful man as well? Yes. Solomon. Was he a sinful man? Okay. But that's not the question. The question is, were they allowed to marry more than one? They marry because they are sinful men who want to marry. Okay. God punishes Solomon. Remember that? He punished her. Okay. God said to him, you're not to marry. So how did and he... And he had yeah. all this, which is exactly what Muhammad did. Okay. So how did he punish... So how can he say sister? Muhammad is a good prophet? Okay. So how did he punish Abraham? Pardon? How did God punish Abraham? Pardon? How did God punish Abraham? But God is also merciful. No, I didn't yeah. ask you that. Yes, he How did, did he God? sent Hagar and Ishmael away. Yes? Was that because he was married to more than one wife? Pardon? That is because Sarah did not, did not listen to God, did not believe that God would give her a son, Jacob. Okay, sister, again, you are going off. I'm asking, if I can, a simple question I'm asking you. When he got married to Sarah, yes? Did he get married to another third woman after that? Genesis chapter 25, verse 1, you will find he marries a third woman. Her name was Keturah. Now, it is right. Now, question I'm asking you is this. Was Abraham following the law? He wasn't. He was an ignorant fellow, you are saying? No, against. Sister, sister. Okay, okay, let me, let me follow your way. Did God permit him to get married? You don't think so? Doesn't the Bible say that? Does the Bible say that? Okay. No. Are you asking me? Right. Okay. If the Bible says... I, I have to be honest with you because yeah. I cannot have this discussion with you because I forgot what I have read in that session. Okay. No problem. Let's go to what you said. I, I don't yeah. have a good memory. Right? No problem. No problem. I don't know. No problem, sister. No problem at all, sister. Let's let's. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Thank you very much for being honest. But the logic here is this, sister. Uh, my name is Shabir, by the way. You are? Uh, May. May. Nice meeting you. You see, May? The evidence is what we have to look at. We all can say many things, yeah? So I look at it this way, that, you know, when I'm told, why are you allowed to marry more than one wife? Yeah? I would say, okay, was that a rule? The answer is yes. Prior to that rule, how many wives were permitted in the Old Testament? You will find there is no restriction on only one. They were allowed, if I can just finish this stuff, they were allowed to marry many. And you are They are not allowed. They, no. The men themselves did it. God did not permit it. But the problem here is you are not familiar with the Bible, sister. So you are going to have to accept yeah, what I'm saying. I am a follower of Christ. And I ah, know okay. Jesus said okay. that you are yeah. only allowed to marry one person. Even right. Jesus said that divorce is wrong. He says that Moses allowed you to uh, be divorced because you are so sinful. No, he didn't say that. Yeah, he said what he so. said, it is, it is said of old. That's what he used to say. And then he used to say, but I say unto you. Okay? But nowhere, nowhere does he say anything. You see, for example, sister, if Abraham, you are saying, was not obeying the law of God, yet the Bible tells us that he was the friend of God, the chosen one. The Bible says Abraham was chosen. Okay, now, if Abraham was chosen, yes? You have Hagar, his second wife. Yeah? You Christians, respectfully, have been taught that she was a bondwoman. A slave woman, yes? Yet the Bible tells you that she got married to Abraham as his wife. Do you accept that? The Bible says, if I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, I stand correctly in the Bible, is that, that Sarah gave her slave uh, uh, servant to 
ever had. That is different from being married. I agree. But the Bible doesn't say what you said. The Bible actually says that Hagar were given to Abraham as his wife. Genesis chapter 16. Okay, that's his wife. Now, was it his second wife? The answer is yes. Then in Genesis 25 verse 1, third one, Keturah, wife. Now, is that more than one? It is more than one. Now, if you go to David, more than one. Sol Solomon, over 300. But all in all this, God not, punished, did punish them. You see, May, even Abraham was punished for, for not, you know, May, the, they were the not, land. no, but that's, I agree with you on what you think you understand. But I, I am not asking you that. The question is, were they permitted to get married to more than one wife? The answer is yes. The question now I have... The answer is not yes. The answer okay. is that men themselves are sinful. Okay. When David married more than yeah. one when Solomon, that's why they were I, I, sister. But David repented. Yeah. David repented and that was No, no, no. David, him. Sister May. David repented. David, Sister May. David repented because he committed adultery. Not because of the wife. Not because of the wives. Yes. Same with Sir Solomon. He was, if you are claiming he was punished, it wasn't because he had more than one wife. So, God did say he's not, he's not to marry the, the woman of other. You see, but that's not the point though. The point is, was it permitted? Now, I think we are directly. I'm not. I'm not directly to the Not at all, no. Why did Muhammad have nine wives? I'm, I'm telling you. Him? I'm telling you now. You see, if your logic is because Islam says it, I'm merely telling you, you are wrong. The Bible permits it also. Now, if you look at the prophet. Not now, because the old New Testament, Jesus. Right, is okay. What we believe. Okay. Now, the devil, that's why the Jewish is, is on their own, in a sense, they don't believe that Jesus is. Yeah, okay. I do believe and I know. So, therefore, I believe in the law of. of I don't mind about that, May. You see, what you believe may not necessarily agree with the evidence. So you know when you tell me, why are you allowed to marry more than one wife? Yeah? Or why did Muhammad marry, tell you only to marry four and he married more than four? Now if I ask you, okay, according to the historical information that is available, okay, the rule of the restriction of four wives, did it come before the, the marriage is... Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. I do not Wait a minute. Know. No problem, May. But I'm just... Yeah? If you do not know, then the question arises, have you rationalized on the questions that you have asked? I, I don't think can they I, are allowed. I, all I know, men, what you, this is why Jesus has to come on earth to die for us. Men want to satisfy their carnal desire. And that is exactly what Muhammad did when he right. marries Aisha, yeah. when he marries Dana. Yeah. Okay. And, and when he tells his men, okay. Again, when where did you, he tells where did you, his, his men, his men ask, what shall we do with the captives? He said, yeah. do what you can do. Whatever you want, you want to rate them what you have on the right hand. Who told you that? It's either in the Hadith or in the, in the Quran. And if it isn't there? I know it's there. May, listen to me. Let's, listen to me, May. Here is what the difference is. I'm telling you, on the basis of evidence, you are completely wrong. But now I'm going to turn this around to you. You are telling me, and I want to ask you this very simple, because I discussed this with some other ladies also. If I were to say to you, May, the Quran talks about the army of God going and raping women, would you accept that from God? If the Quran says that the Creator is going to send an army which is going to go and rape, you. If you know, if you know, to the Old Testament. Wait. But I'm not following the Old That's Testament. not the point though. The it is the point. Can I finish? It is, it Can I finish? As I said, I've discussed this with the other ladies and I'm asking you the same. If the book of God, whether Old Testament or New Testament, claims that the Creator sent an army to rape women, hold the thought, yeah? And you have got what you claim Islam says, and it is not to be found in any of the let me finish. They, it is not to be found in any of the written documents of Islam about 
an army of God raping women. And the Bible explicitly says that, let me just finish, May. It explicitly says that, I'm asking you now, May, honestly tell me, why do you believe the Bible? Right. First of all, I want to answer the fact that you are saying that in the Bible, God asked the Israelites to kill and rape the, 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 the children. Is that what you're saying? I'm, I'm saying yes. Yes. Okay. I agree. It was in the Old Testament. I agree. But that is the consequence of sin. And that is God at thee. Mm. But in Islam is Muhammad, a mere man. And God, because our God is a just God. And our just God, His justice has to prevail. And if men are sinful, even Allah will punish them. So why do you question the biblical God that punishes and did us? God himself asked his own people to kill blood. Right. And that is the consequence of, of, of sin, sin. Yeah. as well as war. All right, okay. Can yeah? I be, can so I, you have yeah. war, yes. right? Now, can I, can I respond? Me, now, don't tell me oh. that when Muslims go to war, that is what is happening. That this edict yes. to break women and to kill them is from Muhammad, a mere man. Yeah, but okay. That, Old Testament, it is God himself because God is a God of Okay, can I, okay. Can I ask you this then? Can I ask you, May? According to your logic, okay? Can, can I just ask you, okay? Is Jesus God? Of course he's God. That is because you don't believe May, 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 may. I'm only asking you, is Jesus God? I believe he is. You do. So in the Old Testament, when that uh, order was given for that army to go and rape women, was it Jesus? That is God the Father. Right, one second, one second. Let me. But he, but let, let me. May, may, no, no, may, may. I have to explain. It's only fair. I, you have to explain it. Why don't you give the Muslims also the chance to explain? It seems you don't want to do that, sister. No, no, no. But okay, let me ask you this Jesus Christ, is he fully God? Is he fully God? So, if he's fully God, was he aware of what the Father was going to do when he sent that army? I don't even know what the father asked me. No, 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 but I'm asking I you, one, man. Yeah? <coughs> I have the queen. Sorry? Let's say we have the queen. Okay, the queen, yeah. yeah. And I am, I am who I am. Yes? Yeah? But uh, I am a subject of him. But what are we? Are we both? What are we? Both of us. He, she's the queen. I am who I am. But yeah, the but... Hammer, but what the, are we? The queen, we are human beings. Yes, correct. So when Jesus came to earth, that is the role. He took on the role of a human being, but he is still God. Okay, but I'm asking you, I, I don't mind about your belief. What I'm asking you, sister, is this. Jesus Christ is fully God. That's what you said, okay? But so, he is not God when he is not fully God. He is divine, but he's not fully God. But he took on the human. And he has, as a human being, yes. and as a God who is humble, he has to take on the role of the human being. Now, you see, what you are saying to me, sister, is nowhere in the Bible, but I'm telling you why, because you asked the Muslim. Ask if I can finish. Why? I know, what you believe is what you have told me. But look, for example, when I say, is Jesus fully God? You are saying yes. And then you are saying, well, no, he isn't fully God actually. Why? Because it was the Father who did that. No, 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 no. Um, you are not understanding that he is fully God, but as a role, as a human being, he has to be humble to God the Father. And therefore, and that is why he willingly yeah. came down on earth to die for us. Yes. And as a human being, to fulfill that role, yeah. he has to humble himself before God. Right. And therefore, he says that, but he, he says that he has to, to, to listen to what the Father. But you okay. say that, that if you know me, you will know the Father. Okay, sister. If I take your logic, when he came down as a man, was he a sinful man? No, 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 no. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. I'm asking you. Wait. Did he come down as a human being? He was begotten through the birth of the Virgin Mary. 
Did he come down as a human being? Yes, he was he God. Did he? Did yes. sister? He took did on flesh right? He when he took on flesh, did he leave his godhood behind? He is, he is part of the Trinity. Okay. And, and the divine nature will always be in him. Now the divine nature, when he became a human being, did he leave it behind? Why would he need to leave it behind? Now, when you are asking me why would he need to leave it behind, I'm asking you on the basis of the evidence. The evidence, does it say that's what he did? You see, the no, he, here, may the, not in the, the yeah. So therefore, he, he would be God as God, whether he's man or whether he's a man. So, even when he's a man, he was God? He, now, that's a divine right. But he has to show us man what humility is to be under as a human being yes. before God. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking but you I'm if he. To you why? That's fine. If he came down as a human, did he have the same desires as a human being? Pardon? Did he have the I same? Because in that. Wait, 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 wait. You see. He, he, may, he may. does what every man does. May, you are saying you don't know about that. He is. Talk? I'm talking about desires. Desires for the female yeah. kind. Did he have? Not, not that I've read anything in the Bible. Right. Have you read anywhere in the Bible that he left his divine being and came down? Yes. Where? Because he says Where that in the Bible? Because it's been prophesied. No, 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 no. Prophesied sister, yeah. all along. And John said the word the prof in the beginning is the word. The word is... is uh, the word was with God, God and the word was God. 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 Yes. Yes. Therefore, but may. And you in the Quran say that Jesus is the word of God. The Quran says Jesus was not God. Do you accept God that? But it did say that Jesus. Yeah, but it, it also says Jesus was not God. Do you believe that? The Quran also says he was not. Oh, so you take one, choose no, that one, and leave the other one. Take, because the Bible existed well yeah. before the Quran. Oh, okay. So, Muhammad okay, took sister. The, the, the right, okay, the okay. And therefore, and yeah. the Is that what you Muhammad, sincerely believe? Muhammad even himself said that when you don't know the truth, go back to the book, the people of the book. Is that what you sincerely believe? Yes. Okay, do you know the Bhagavad Gita? Have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? You don't. It's the Hindu scriptures. It came far, far before the Bible. Do you accept that? Why not? But you don't even know about it, so how do you know it's wrong? You don't even know about it, so how do you know it's wrong? How do you know that existed before, before Christ? Because I have researched it. God, but do you believe that God created the world? Uh, now, belief is one thing. I know for sure the Creator created everything. Yes. But I can also tell you that the Creator created Jesus. Do you agree? No. You see? Jesus is begotten by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the Bible doesn't say God that, sister. That. It doesn't. Oh, you name me, you name me one verse. I, Isaiah 53. Okay. Isaiah 53, verse 9, 10, and 11 says that he was going to be put on the cross and he survives. <laughs> Actually, sister, you haven't. Listen, listen to me, Shabir. Yeah? I tell you, May. You are lying in front of the camera. Now, look at, look at this. Should we check it to see if I'm lying? Hey? Should we check it? I'm afraid I've given my Bible away. Have you given your Bible away? Have you got your net? Bible. Have you got one, sis? We have one. You are no good. She have one. <laughs> no, in case our mobile phone might not be a correct one. Sorry, tell me which one. Isaiah 53. The Quran is let me say no liar. The Quran says don't lie. No, no. Ask anyone. The Quran is saying liar. No. Ask any Muslim. You say that's wrong, because you say. What's your name? Abraham. You forgot. Sister. Me. Go and learn your Quran. Me. Quran is in the verse. Isaiah 53. Yes. Isaiah 53. I said 9, 10, and 11 verses here. 
Let's go to 9, 10, and 11. What does it say here? He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. Now, one second. What does this mean when it says he will see his offspring and prolong his days? That's God saying that Jesus is, his son of, is the Son of God. Listen, here, listen. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. And his knowledge and you see, sister, righteous. sister, you aren't reading. Look, read again. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer, yes. not to die. And though the Lord makes his life, life an offering for sin, though it makes him an offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. What does offspring mean? Pardon? What does offspring mean? Us, children of God. Now look at this. Now look at this. Either you tell me that this prophecy is about the man Jesus Christ, or it was about God. Both. Now, watch, watch this. What, no problem. Was it was, I, Sister, I am hey. not a theologian, all right? Hey, what? I, I'm not a theologian. Yeah, I know I, you are I'm not a theologian. Not, you are not near, nowhere near. Yes, I can accept I, that. Yes. But sister, but I, are I, you yeah. now agreeing with me that actually Isaiah doesn't say what you thought? 